Hey guys, Ray Pohar from Get Crafty Crafty, and as promised, I'm going to be doing a Q&A video today, answering some of the questions that you guys submitted on time lapse number three and four. It's my first time doing a Q&A video. I'll try to make this really quick and super interesting. So let's see how this goes. Probably the most asked question that I've had so far is, am I Filipino? What's my ethnicity? And so far, my favorite response to this question is from Sammy D claiming that I'm Irish Indian. As cool as that sounds, I can't say it's true since I actually am Filipino. And just a fair warning, I'm gonna be talking a lot with my hands throughout this video. It's just something that I do just because I feel like it'd be really awkward if I was standing like this the whole time throughout the whole video, just talking to you guys, not really doing anything with my hands. Um, Yeah, some of you guys might be a little annoyed by it, but it's just something that I do and hopefully by this time you guys are just used to it. Throughout the video, I'm also gonna have screenshots of the questions that were asked to write over here so try to pay attention to see if I'm gonna answer your question question number two how old am I I am 26 turning 27 in October yeah 26 turning 27 what made me start this channel and that kind of also goes with this other question am I a teacher long story short I used to teach at a before and after school program back in San Francisco and I did that for about six years before moving to LA after moving to LA I kind of missed doing all these arts and crafts projects and and I had all these lesson plans that I had from the past six years of teaching. So after a few months in LA, I decided to start a YouTube channel to share the projects that I made. It started off as a little project and the more involved I got into it, the more frequent I got into making videos, more people started to watch and subscribe and out of nowhere, I had like all these random people liking, commenting and subscribing. And if you guys have been here since the Ooblick video, thank you for watching me this past almost two years now. You guys have been awesome and hopefully you guys have had fun watching me throughout this whole journey. If you have been here since the Ublik video, let me know in the comment section below. If not, let me know when you guys actually started watching my channel. And depending on when you guys started watching the channel, you can kind of notice that the channel's also become a time capsule of all the different haircuts that I've had. I've had this guy for about a week now and I'm still kind of getting used to it. Uh, I'm not really sure how I feel, but the more I have it, the more I actually have been enjoying this. Where am I from? My family's original from the Philippines and I've been in San Francisco most of my life up until when I moved to LA about two years ago. One of the other things that motivated me to start this channel was to show that you guys can make anything. One of the beliefs of Get Crafty Crafty is to make sure that anyone can build anything. You don't really have to be super artistic to make the projects on my channel. I try to make it so that anyone can be crafty and hopefully if you guys have been following me throughout this journey you guys have been able to make some of the projects throughout these past two years. When will I get my 100k plaque and will I I do a video I probably will do a video and as you guys know I hit 100k about a month or two ago and with that I get the silver YouTube play button but because of the way that the system is processing everything it's gonna actually take a good 8 to 12 weeks for me to get it so when I do get the little plaque I'll make sure you guys see it either on Instagram and also on YouTube what's my favorite type of pizza sausage mushroom with pesto but if you really think about it I would probably eat any kind of pizza that was put in front of me Except anchovies, I'm not really a big anchovy fan. What's my favorite type of cookie? Mint chocolate chip, but just like pizza, I would probably eat any kind of cookie that you put in front of me. What inspired me to do YouTube? That pretty much goes back to me wanting to share all the projects that I've made the past six years when I was teaching. And yeah, do I have a camera crew? I actually do all these videos by myself. The process of making a video goes from getting the materials and doing the research for the project, doing the chalk art and the time lapse for the background pieces, shooting the video by myself which requires me going back and forth from in front of the camera to behind the camera then back and forth to make sure that all the shots are getting done after that I edit the video create the thumbnail and if you guys have been paying attention I also type out all the captions for a lot of the new videos just so that if you guys can't really understand what I'm saying or if you are hearing impaired you're able to read what the instructions are for the project which camera do I use? I use the Canon 7D, and for audio equipment, I use a Zoom H6. Editing software, I use Adobe Premiere. What do I do with the projects after I'm done making them? Depending on the project, I either do a small giveaway, I give it to my friends, or I keep it in the background so you guys might occasionally see it when I'm making a new project. And yeah, that is the end of our first Q&A. If you guys have any other questions, make sure to put that in the comment section below, and I'll try to answer them in a future video. Other than that, hopefully you guys had fun watching this video. I'll see you guys next time and stay crafty.